Ancient Egyptians built time-defying monuments, pyramids, and temples. But they also built boats and ships. Boats were the best choice for transportation, especially with the Nile River being shared across almost all cities and villages of ancient Egypt. Some boats were used for transportation in the river, or to conquer the Red Sea, or the Mediterranean Sea the Great Green, as they called it. But other ships were more mysterious. These ships were used by the mythical gods of Egypt. They were also meant for the pharaohs, to use for traveling with Egyptian gods, in the afterlife, in the journey to the stars and beyond. It was as close as they could get to building flying boats, or spaceships, to travel, beyond this world. The gods on their flying ships, looked, in some cases, like visitors from another world. Or, were they? Did the Egyptian gods' mythology evolve, as a result of an ancient encounter, with an alien civilization? Did they notice the phenomena of UFOs, or UAP as called by US government, as we have in modern time? Modern day governments have finally started admitting that we are seeing flying objects that we do not understand. Did the ancient Egyptians notice the same phenomena too? Were they contacted by alien civilization that they eventually called gods? We do not have a clear answer to these questions yet, but, we know that ancient Egyptians built boats, for different reasons, including mythical boats, to fly away with gods. Egyptians made models and paintings of the mystical solar boats or spaceships that gods used to travel across the sky. Pharaohs were expected to join them in the afterlife. The models include funeral boats that were buried with the deceased pharaoh. The Khufu Pyramid in Giza has pits for seven boats. We only found two of these boats. Two boats were found back in 1954. These boats were disassembled and kept in airtight sealed pits for more than 4,500 years. One of the boats was restored, reassembled, and kept in a specially built pavilion until 2021. It is the building we see here, beside the Great Pyramid of Khufu. The pit where the boat was found, is directly under the museum. It took 20 months to remove the parts from the pit. It took 7 years to assemble the boat, and about 20 years more. For the museum to be fully functional. All the other boats were not found. Most probably, they were stolen. We only found the open pits, and some remains of wood pieces. Khufu is expecting his boats to be nearby, after his resurrection. After moving one boat in 2021, only one will remain by the pyramid.
Tools and ropes were found intact with the boat. This is the pit, where the boat was kept for 4,500 years. Models were built to learn more about how to assemble the boat. Most Egyptologists believe the boat was built for sailing in the Nile River, and that it was probably used for funeral ceremonies, of King Khufu. It was later disassembled, and buried, beside the Khufu pyramid by one of his sons, Jedefre. It is made of wood from cedar trees, from Lebanon, and they had to travel to Lebanon to get it. The boat is 144 feet long and the longest log is 70 feet long. There are some theories that these boats were used as cranes to move and lift the heavy stones that were used to build the pyramid. These theories are not widely supported. If these boats were used to build the pyramid, there should have been numerous boats that were used for this purpose, given the size of the pyramid. The boat has a royal chamber. The chamber has no windows, and there is no mast or sail with this boat. This is why it was most probably used, only for the pharaoh's funeral. These boats were built starting from the hull, and the pieces were tied together, or sewn by using ropes. Using ropes to hold the boat pieces together, has made it relatively easy to assemble, and disassemble the boat as needed. This helped in transporting the boats, from one place to another. Khufu's mummy may have been carried in this barge one last time to his resting place, and then it was buried with him. But was it also meant to be used as a spaceship, for the resurrected pharaoh, to join the Egyptian gods in the sky? We are not sure, but if Egyptians wanted to build a ship, that can sail in water or in the sky, this is probably how they would do it. In modern time, we build planes and spacecrafts. In ancient times, Egyptians built these ships, and used it on water, but they also indicated in their drawings, that it can also be used to travel with gods, across the skies,
To move this boat to the new Grand Egyptian Museum, there were two options. Disassemble the boat and risk damaging it. Or move it as one piece, but this would be a huge shipment, with other types of risks. The Egyptian authorities eventually decided to take the second option. Move it as one piece. A professional team was established to manage this historical project. Moving Khufu's boat. Once the boat is moved, the other boat that was found in the same location is planned to be assembled and put in place of this one. Assembling the second boat is expected to be more difficult than the first one, as it was more damaged when it was found. We do not know yet how the second boat will look like, but the current assumption is that it will be very similar. The design of these boats does not allow for comfortable rowing, according to some Egyptologists. This supports the idea that it was towed as a funeral boat, or that it is a solar boat, or a spaceship for the pharaoh. Egyptians believed in life after death, and they also believed that this involved joining gods in the sky. They have done their best to reach the skies and study the stars, and they left us great structures, showing how hard they tried. After careful planning, the boat was moved in 2021 as one piece, using a smart vehicle, to its new home at the Grand Egyptian Museum. At the new museum, it will be available to visitors as the oldest intact ship, an organic relic, that was ever found. Well, so far, we still have a lot to learn about the ancient Egyptian civilization. This boat is part of the bigger story of how Egyptians tried to reach out beyond their known world and knowledge. Did they receive knowledge from an out-of-this-world civilization? Are we being watched by that civilization? Only time and continuous research will tell. As we continue to try to understand the unidentified objects phenomena, the ancient Egyptians may have resolved it already. The study of this great ancient civilization may be crucial for the future of humanity.